hello world um, I wanted to pick a little video with an update on what's going on with Jackie and Jackie is the jackdaw I rescued um, about three months ago now well when I say I rescued him he was very hungry and he wasn't being fed so I fed him so he's over that way I'm gonna call him over to me and we'll have a chat about him Jackie 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 Jackie! Hey Jackie! How'd you feel about making a video? Are you cross with me? Okay, about uh, five minutes ago I clipped the very tips of his nails, the top millimeter, two millimeters off his nails, claws, because he was tearing my arm to pieces every time he landed on me. His claws were razor sharp. I can show you some scars I have here from previous landings on my arm there um, it was getting it was quite bad at one stage but uh, we've come to a kind of intermediate kind of understanding now where he has to put up with a small bit of claw clipping and I put up with the odd scratch every now and then instead of me taking all the pain so um, it's about 12 weeks since I rescued Jackie um, for about two weeks after that the time I made the previous video he, uh, he couldn't fly back then he's only just starting to learn how to eat food that I was giving him um, you know, so uh, he's been well able to fly for quite a while he sleeps outdoors now he used to sleep in the poultry house I let him out well when I say I let him out I just don't put him in into the poultry house in the evening and uh, he's been fine um, the fox comes along now, at least he can fly. If he was stuck on the ground, the fox would just gobble him up. So he sleeps over in a pile of old trees behind me there. You can't really see them too well from here. But um, that's where the rest of the jackdaw is sleeping. He hangs out with them. Um, when I first found him, his eyes were blue. And if you look closely, you see that his eyes have gone kind of a brownish grey colour now. That's normal. That's um, that's part of the adolescent phase. Um, also, when I found him, his beak had a white uh, outline along the edges of it, I suppose you'd call it. His beak was much softer. Um, it's hardened up and the, the white bits have turned black. Now, it might still look like there's a small bit of white on his beak there, but that's actually the remains of some porridge he was eating earlier. He didn't clean himself up properly after it. Um, as well as that, uh, the only other real changes... Oh yeah, so his eyes will go white slash blue eventually as he be, as he develops into a mature adult. Um, for the last few months he's had a kind of a dull charcoal black colour to his feathers. But he started molting recently. I'll try to get a shot of his back here. So you can see the, um, the feathers starting to... Well, there's some of them sticking out and there's some of them falling out and um, there's some new ones growing. But the you know, most striking thing about his molt is the dull charcoal coloured feathers seem to be disappearing and they're being replaced by black feathers with a bluish greenish mostly bluish sheen off of them so they'll be uh, his adult colours oh he's just after pooping and look he didn't hit my hand that time sometimes he does um, so he's quite clever he um, he learns very quickly when he first started to fly he would sometimes fly up behind me very silently and land on my shoulder and scream into my ear telling me he wanted to be fed and this went on for about three weeks even let's say um, and it was extremely annoying I have to be honest very very annoying he um, his yell was painfully loud especially so close to my ear I was worried about having hearing damage from it so I got quite cross with him several times. I slapped him off of my shoulder. Sometimes I caught him and I 
grab him with my hand and um, didn't hurt him, but I'd throw him into the air forcefully. He'd fly off then. But um, it was to, I was trying to communicate with him that this was not acceptable behavior. And he's smart, he learned. He doesn't do that anymore. He'll sometimes fly up and land on my shoulder, but he doesn't scream in my ear anymore. Um, I think he might be about to have a little snooze now, which is kind of cool. I like when he does that. It's a sign that he trusts me. So, um, what else is going on? He likes the sound of my voice. He likes me talking to him. Sometimes he'll come along. He, he's not actually looking for food. He'll come along and he'll start barking at me, making crow noises at me because he wants to have a chat. So I talk to him and that's all he wants. He doesn't want food. Um, he's learning, slowly but surely learning how to feed himself. He went to f for, for quite a while after he learned how to fly, he was um, requiring four, five, six meals a day from me. And uh, I had to basically refuse to feed him after a while so that he would make the effort to go and find food for himself. So I'd leave things like bits of grain lying around the place, he'd go and find them. Then I'd start burying things in the ground. Um, he'd see me burying them, and then he'd go and dig them up himself. And eventually he learned that if he goes poking around in piles of moss and um, around the base of trees and things like that, that he can find things to eat there. Also fed him some live wood lice for a while, and he got the idea that uh, chasing little creepy crawly things is a decent source of food. So, um, I wanted to get a video of him at this stage of his life before he moulds, because after he moulds, um, he'll never look like a juvenile jackdaw again. And I keep calling him a he. That's just a habit I have. I don't know that he's he. <laughs> he's he. It could be a she. Um, just as easily. But Jackie is a, a gender neutral name anyway. So. Um. Hey Jackie. Show me your eyes. Show me your eyes. Um, can't think of anything else for right now, so I'll leave that video right here.